to be fair, to be fair, the South Koreans did not have to deal with this burgeoning scandal of Obamagate, which, of course, has completely distracted our uh, our government operations. Everyone's talking about here it. is the civil libertarian Rand Paul going on to uh, Fox News to make a case that we shouldn't give Bill Barr more surveillance powers under the uh, Patriot Act so that he can uh, get your browser history without even uh, getting a warrant. No, he's going on to warn us all of this burgeoning Obama scandal. Trump campaign. I really strongly believe that President Obama gave specific and direct oversight and direct permission for this. Think about it. We have never allowed a secret court to be used against a presidential ca campaign. Don't you think that was sensitive enough that it went all the way to the very top? So yeah, the, the media have treated President Obama with kid gloves. Someone needs to ask him directly, did you approve of, pros of Operation Crossfire Hurricane? I think the answer is yes. So, you know, I mean, to put the shoe on the other foot, a lot of do you have evidence of that? You say you're sure that the president, the former president was involved in this. Why are you so sure? Well, we'll find out. I'm hoping that a lot of this will be declassified, but I have a strong feeling that this was such a sensitive subject. He's already admitted or admitted through people that worked for him that the Flynn investigation he knew a lot about and they were asking him his permission. On the way out, uh, Obama officials were all bragging, oh, we're going to save the republic from this guy, Donald Trump, by, you know, sending out information through all the... Uh I mean... Wouldn't you have wanted the president to sign off on that? I mean, it's one thing to say President Obama told the FBI, go and investigate Donald Trump. That would be wrong. Oh, most but, definitely that but, would be wrong. But, but if the DOJ is investigating a president-elect, let's say, wouldn't you want the president, the sitting president to be like, you know, go and, and make sure that you got the OK. Like, wouldn't you want that run up the flagpole to make sure it's your you you, you are authorized to do this? Hey, Sam, opposed, are you saying that you would prefer that something as serious with as many implications of that be run by the executive instead of in a freewheeling and sprawling independent Department of Justice investigation this with is, no oversight, no accountability, and no official sign-off. And I say that as somebody who's, you know, I'm a pretty fully, you know, I look, I, I, I'm i not impressed with uh, with Russiagate, you know, in general. I'll, I'll own that. But I mean, that is such a bizarre argument. And in addition to that, regardless of the merits of the intelligence estimates and everything else, another part of the story was that supposedly in 2016, and this is not specific to what they're accusing Obama of here, but that, you know, supposedly Obama wanted to sort of have a joint sign off with Mitch McConnell where they would say like, we yes. don't want any interference. And Mitch McConnell told him to go F himself. And then he didn't do anything because he, no, he said, not only did he say go F himself. He said, if you do this, we're going to make it a political issue. Right. Right. And Obama, you know, didn't do that. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, you know, again, yes, even within, this is what always happens. Well, if what happened was what they're saying happened, it would be extraordinarily dangerous. But in this specific instance, it's exactly what you said. I don't, I mean, I've looked well, into no, but that's I don't, my I don't, point is that yeah. they are setting it up. I mean, this is how they're doing this. Right. They, they didn't say that he directed it. The, the, uh, Rand uh, Paul uh, is saying, I am convinced that Obama signed off on this. Well, of course, which is exactly what it should be. But right. the way they set this up is like, you know, this is like um, I'm convinced those uh, public works, uh, those uh, road worker guys were actually using a jackhammer. Well, yeah, they were. And this is what they're going to find when they go in and dig through this. They're going to find that the president's that Obama signed off on it. But here's the thing. Nobody is going to give a crap except for these lunatics who are already supposedly going to vote for Trump. This is what's so sort of fascinating about this. It's almost as if they are, they have basically given up on a narrative that Trump is going to win. And they are just pursuing a narrative that is going to placate Trump voters. 
That I mean, that's what it looks like to me right now. I mean, because otherwise, why wouldn't they be talking about Hunter Biden unless they're trying to save that for the summer or something? Yeah, I don't know. That's actually surprising me that you don't hear more about Hunter Biden. And again, just ta- I'm purely tactically, Barack Obama's popular. I have no exactly. idea why you would want to mention the most popular brand association that Joe Biden has right now. I, exactly. Particularly, specifically I, and, and, and I'm not in saying the con- they should yeah. be talking about uh, uh, Hunter Biden. I don't want them to. But I'm saying like that's what one would expect if they were going to pursue any type of strategy that 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 was to suppress votes on the Democratic side. But you know what script I'm writing in my head right now? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. You as a senior communications advisor to the Trump team. There you go. It's like, Boom. why don't you talk about Hunter? I don't know. <laughs> I like you. You're a good Jew. Yeah. The Jew wants to talk about Hunter. I thought it was very interesting. Jew this guy Jew. was on Sex in the City. You, oh, you've done TV. <laughs> you've done TV. Hunter. It's true. You've done TV. That, that's a good... Um, 